something really sad when you are coming out of <clears throat> a long pattern of, um, of living with abuse. Something happens within you um, when you're exiting this, you know, whatever, the significant relationship or um, <clears throat> it, something grows in you. It's a, um, it, it's a, it's a, it's a strength is being developed. You do not know this at the time. At the time, you're overwhelmed. You, you can barely see in front of you. It's, it's just, you know, you have so much to take care of, uh, to disengage from this experience. And it just requires all of your, uh, you know, everything you can muster. And, um, but this strength is being developed. This muscle is being worked. And um, when you do make it, when you get out of the relationship, um, this wonderful peace comes over you. And, um, you know, and this liberation. I mean, it, it's such a victory. I mean, it, 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 you know, it feels like a miracle. You know, you're just like, whoa, I did it. I got out, you know. But what was, what's within us, you know? Um, what was within me? Um, why I was um, uh, engaging that I was in? Um, that feeling, you know, um, taking care of other people was more important than taking care of myself because I didn't feel valuable or lovable. And, uh, you know, these are core, core beliefs, some of my core beliefs, um, that were activated in the relationship. And, <clears throat> you know, of course, it's not a far-fetched thought to realize, well, maybe other relationships have flavors of this um, dynamic. And, um, you know, maybe these people wouldn't be categorized under um, the umbrella of a manipulator or a narcissist or what have you. But they have um, attributes of these characteristics. And um, I found it really surprising and unexpected when I started noticing um, these things in other relationships in my life. And, um, you know, the sister friend that I talked about in um, the video, um, The Decimation of uh, the Symbol of Abuse, um, you know, she... <laughs> that's what got me started on this project. You know, I, I mean, I, I was really surprised and unsettled that this, that this person who I'd considered to be, you know, such a good friend and the potential for such a, a, a deeper relationship, um, had elements of, uh, what I was experiencing in my marriage. And, uh, you know, and this wasn't the only relationship. I've I've found this in other relationships in my life, and um, it's evoked an enormous amount of sadness in me. I, I'm 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 very sad. I I I'm finding that I'm needing to let go of these relationships um, in order to love myself and respect myself. And um, I love these people. And um, I'm learning that you can love people and not have them in your life or not have them, you know, 
as an intimate friend um, in your life. And this was very, um, a very unexpected um, development on, on my path, um, on this journey, you know, this journey of being on my own and, um, and learning to love myself in all ways and what that means. You know, what does it mean to love myself? And um, my heart's been hurting quite a bit. Um, you know, some people you can kind of let go of and it hurts a little bit, but you know, you know it's the right thing and you just go on. But some people, they got in there a little deeper. And uh, so this is what I'm going through. Um, I, don't, I don't know how this is going to translate um, on the art piece, um, but it will be included in some way because um, it's part of the journey. So um, hmm, I'm just feeling really sad. I, I'm very sad right now. This is, this is me and my sad, sadness. And uh, being a warrior, uh, sometimes things are required. And uh, difficult choices difficult choices but I I am exercising abuse in my life and I'm exercising flavors of abuse too and um, you know I, I <laughs> that's where I'm at today so I thought it was worthy of um, communicating uh, what I'm going through for the project.